Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and the Administrator of Diddly and Tony PNGs. I'm going to start you off with uh, a tutorial on uh, designing a character for which we're going to show you how to do uh, animating the character by rigging it up and make it into an animated character GIF. And I'm going to start off with Affinity Designer for this first part of the tutorials. And with Affinity Designer I'm going to open a new document A4 and Portrait create that right now I'm going to get an ellipse tool to create the face with get a face reasonable size at the moment doesn't matter how big it is really at the moment because um, we can always adjust it as necessary as we go along and I'm just convert curve there and I'll click the note, note tool there right now when I go on here I'm going to click here click there and do the same on this side click there click there make sure you got the nodes on then I'm going to go in between them and push that in a little bit and in between them I'm going to push that in a little bit there whoops I've done that the wrong way push that that way let's have a look at that I see that looks all right doesn't it that's not too bad it gives you a little bit of a jawline right now we could do other stuff with it but I don't think it's necessary really we raw it with most of it is that fine and I'm just gonna put a little pale color on like that might be less than that there that's it right now what we can do next is go for putting the label on to say that it's the face because that's what it is it's the face part of the head right I've actually put two E's because my um, keyboard plays up a bit sorry unfortunately that's what happens all the while seems to do that quite a lot really um, as well as that next I'm going to do um, another ellipse tool and I'm going to do the eye white so I'm going to change the middle to white on that right and I'm going to go on to the outline and make it the stroke to about one one point not there right so you can see it basically um, right so that's the eye white so I need to ch change the name of that to eye white right, E Y E W H I T E like that right now that's okay now I'm going to get an, another ellipse tool and do a circle which is going to be the iris and with the iris I'm going to change the colour to the solid colour to a brown colour a bit lighter than that yeah there you go and I'm going to get another circle which I'm going to make into the pupil and click on that as you can tell I am not naming these at the moment because I don't need to yet with these ones I'll show you why in a minute right with these ones I'm not going to because I'm going to put that on there like that and I'm going to add um, a glint to the eye as well so I'll convert that to curves node tool which is the top right one there if it'll let me do it that one right and then I'll go up a little bit there and up a little bit there change that to white okay okay now I need to go on to the move tool to just turn it around like that a bit and then make it smaller small enough to be about right there right I need that move tool to put it up there like that and that looks all right I mean it might need a bit moving over slightly oh that's, that looks nice right I'll just move the that in a bit right now that looks pretty good now now I've got them all together 
I'm going to group them and call them the iris. Right? Yeah. And that's that one. That one will have to be sorted out. I'll show you what you've got to do with that after because you need to do something really good with them to make them show up like they are. I think these are actually okay, but I need to just check. Might be a bit too. That's it. Let's just pull the eye white just a bit out. That way a little bit. And this way a little bit there. That's it, yeah. Right. Now I'm going to select the iris and then I'm going to click the control key on my windows uh, desktop keyboard and uh, I'm gonna group them and that's gonna be right eye doesn't matter anyway because I'm gonna gotta put it in there in a minute like that I might be make it a little bit smaller because that looks a bit big oh uh, yeah there then I'm gonna do copy and paste and do change that one there and like that left eye I'll just take off some of that right and that's that right now that's pretty good for the moment that looks reasonable I'm happy with that now we've got several ways to make a nose um, oh, um, I'll do that yeah you can do it like this add a piece like that you know sort of thing and you can put that behind the other so arrange move to back like that to make a kind of nose like that straight nose and you can use one piece and just alter it about if you wish I tend to do this method so what I do I do mess about with it once I've got, got it I'll usually make that a bit longer and then I'll bring this out a little bit both sides more than that a lot then what I'm going to do is with this one I'm going to convert to curves first and click on that then I want to do a, a one there one there like that so I've got the lines there and then I'm going to push that bit up there push that bit up there like that so that looks pretty good but then you need this bit here so um, this bit I'm going to do click there click there and then bring that up that way bring that up that way a little bit like that and then do probably curve that in slightly on that side as well how's that looking now that's not too bad now all we need to do is select all of that and colour it the same colour as the eyes like that you do that ok that's not too bad if you wanted to you could go on to the um, outline and either you could change the opacity or change it to a grey colour rather than a black and make it look a bit less what's it uh, you know um, I'm annoying I ain't selected them I've only to select them first but select them like that and then go down here whoops what have I done Let's go into the grey you see uh, like that so we could do that take that down there 
and then when you put it on you can see just see that one but you can't see the other one ah oh, damn I've done that wrong quite a bit excuse me a sec sorry took that too low I know with that one it's gone on, it's gone on that one and not on the other one so I need to select that one and that one again sorry just made a mistake there and just pull them back down and I don't know what that, why that didn't work right but it didn't you shouldn't have done that well you can change the line a little bit but not too much if you do it too much it goes invisible like that so there we go that should be all right now hopefully now that one's going oh that one's underneath that's why I need to put that one up there look ah, sorry my photo wasn't watching what I was doing then properly oh, ah, that's better now I could actually bring that lower down a bit than that so I mean, let's just put that there I need to um, group them I don't want to put them together um, using these um, I forgot what they call them now add subtract things um, boolean uh, type things where you add subtract and divide and that because you'll lose the lines I don't want to lose I don't want to make sure you get the shape so you can see the shape I mean with that you could also add um, I don't know a circle on the top to make a little spot now is on the top there if you want it to or whatever right but that makes it look more like it's just the shadow of the nose rather than anything else so that's why I've done that anyway let's get on to some other things right now I didn't change the name of that let's just do the name of that first nose sorry there's a nose right now this is going to be one of the eyebrows so what I'm going to do is change the colour of it in a minute I need to click on it wait a minute let's bring it across a bit so I'll show you what I'm going to do I'm going to curve it and I want to curve it at an, about there curve it about there as well on that one right and I'm going to change the colour the outside one's going to be black anyway not at the inside I want to be a dark brown like that right now I'm going to change it to the move tool and then I need to just have a look yeah that's going to be like that and then I'm going to put that there maybe that's a bit too strong right there oh, smaller like that might be a bit too thick so I just knock it down a little touch like that right and bring it down a little bit more yep and then I can do copy paste click over and then I'm just going to drag it across the other side uh, I'm sorry bring that down uh, bring that one down a bit more as well right so that's alright and we can do put the names of these on right brow <sighs> left brow I'll miss the capital on the right brow angle
okay so that's what we've got so far and um, as to the mouth I mean you can do lips if you want to but off the time I don't you don't do, need to do the lips really because mainly the blokes usually have pale lips really and the women usually have the makeup on don't they I mean some men do have the makeup on but you know that's all depends on the man himself I suppose right so what I'm going to do I've just got a rounded rectangle shape and I'm going to adjust it using the convert curves tool again uh, to the way I want it you know so it doesn't really matter you can use any of the tools there to do your bidding basically if you, whatever you want to do there you go so we can do if we move that that way a bit more that that way a bit more looks like it's the top of the jaw so he's got his mouth open yeah and you could probably see the teeth at the bottom there so we could do that right so we're going to put the teeth in in a minute and just get some teeth and they need to change the color so just click on that copy paste I just want to get the move tool in a minute and bring it across paste cross and paste again a few times just a number of times you can't really matter how many times you do it really it's up to you however many times you think you feel it needs a extra toughing right so what we're going to do is change the color to white Uh-huh. Maybe tinge of yellow on them or something if they if they need it. And bring them in a bit to get that like that. Right, so you can have them as the top teeth or spouse. So you can just group like that. You got the group of the top teeth and you put that in there like that. And used oops that ain't right that should be in there like that so as you can see there look I've put I've dragged the top teeth and put them into the curve which is supposed to be the mouth and when I go like this I come up there like that so he's got his teeth there you'll only see the bottom part of them I'm going to do some molars at the bottom here more square because obviously you're going to see um, them in a different way copy oh well I need to go on there don't I I want to copy and paste do that paste do that paste paste again just two more I think I'll do it I think I'm not sure I'll try and get it that way that one there and paste again right you could do that might just be just enough for there let's bring that in across a bit like that right so you've got a little gap in the middle there so I'm it down where I can bring that together a little bit I don't want to uh, pull that across there and that one across a little bit if you wanted to you could add um, little marks in using uh, any one of these really now you don't very very big marks like that what I'm going to do is just edit a bit undo that and you could put little crosses on and when when you get through it you can fade them out a little bit by using 
the thingy tool, the opacity tool. So it's showing like the top of the teeth. You can change the colour of these actually. Made a mistake there, sorry. I'm it's alright I'm using my mouse at the moment because I've had to take my tablet off because we was having some work done in the house and I had to take off my stuff away and put it away and I haven't had time to put it all back yet to be working use. So that'll do. Now what I'll do is I'll go all the way through, click all these curves here, select all these curves here and reduce the opacity on them to make them look very it ain't working is it? why ain't it working? Opacity. oh I'm on the wrong one that's why need to do that now click opacity on them oh, let's go excuse me a second need my fingers again Oh, dang, I'm going to press the wrong button. Sorry. Right. Okay, now, I'll do the opacity on them, knock the opacity down quite a lot. Just to make them look like that ish. Right now, you see, they look more like teeth now. Right, so all that, we know. Select the whole lot of that and do group them and then put them in as the bottom teeth. So hopefully we should go in there as well. Right, so I'm going to put them down here like this. And that should be pretty good. Looking pretty good, yeah. In fact, I'll just bring them back a little touch. I mean, I should do that click on that now bring them back a little touch like that right so you've got teeth in there we can bring that in a bit and down there you go pretty yeah, it looks pretty good I like in this one this is looking good and then all we've got to do is the ears and his hair so you can do I don't know we can use the rectangular shape to do the ears if we want to or the circular shape I usually use the circular shape but we'll use the rectangular rounded rectangular shape and do it with that uh, on this occasion and what we're going to do is we're going to do the colour first get the colour right like that and I'm going to use the move tool and convert to curves use the now tool Make sure I've got the knife tool on. Right, so now what we need to do is we want that going in a bit. And we've got to move that there and then move another bit there. Right, and that'll be alright, won't it? I don't know. Now, let's do this out a bit there and that in a bit there. That's better. That's more like it then we can use a pencil tool or one of the tools if you want to and we can draw in what you want to draw in if you want to draw anything in make it look like an ear like that something like that and then you can select it and put it to the face somewhere near the eyes like that and do the same on the other side by just clicking on it uh, grouping it I mean you can crush it down a bit if you want to like that uh, it looks a bit better so yeah and then just stick it out a little bit there we go that looks alright Okay, and then copy that, paste, and flip it over to the other side, and then over there. Okay, don't look too bad. 
Oh, I well, know what I've done wrong. I've, I haven't took the thingies off it. The, uh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. These can go at the back if need be. So what I'll do is just take them to the back in a minute. So I'll just click on that one that's left here. Put L here and right here or here. Rear. Right. You know what they are anyway, so just select them both. I'm gonna try selecting them both and I'm gonna put them at the back, see if it looks better at the back. So I'll just check that. Arrange move to back. Yeah, that looks good. Looks pretty good. So that's that's reasonable. Right, so he's that's it. So you could have him bald if you wanted to. Or you can have him with hair. And to do the hair, I might do two pieces for the hair. So we'll see. Um, what do you think? So we do. We get. We're going to do brown hair, aren't we? I think. Yeah, we are. Let's get the colour first. So I need to get the colour of there. Right, so we're going to do that. So we've got the circle here. So we're going to do it for his hair at the back. So I want to show a bit of hair behind the ears where possible. So we're going to do that. We're going to convert that to curves and pull that up a bit. Bring that there. Right. Now go to. Now just move to back a minute. Let's just see how it looks from the back. Yep. Right now, what I need to do is go click on the node tool. I can move the hair at the back here and do not, uh, click on an area, click on another area, and move that up in a different way. Like that, so I can give him like a different kind of feel to it. Then click on that one. Move, move that up there like that. And then, so that's the back hair. We need to put that as the back hair. Oh, I ain't done the thing yet, so I just need to put back hair for that. I haven't done the mouth. I should have named the mouth so that we can remember what that is. You can see it though. I'll just name that as well so I don't forget. Right now, the front of his hair has got to be of the same colour, maybe, or you could you could change the colour a little bit and give it a bit of a flick in it or something. Uh, I'm going to uh, get a circle again and just put that over the front and see how we're looking so far. Like that, you can do something like that, or you can do you know, uh, put that in. You know, that looks pretty reasonable actually. I could do that. Got like a lady's haircut, but in mind. But that's an example of what you could do. And you can just take off the the stroke off that. So take the stroke off. That looks pretty good. So that's the head for the character. I might have to just um, adjust that a little bit by making it smaller because uh, it will be too big like that. So there's the character's head anyway. That looks pretty good so far. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial so far and be prepared for the next one where i'll do the rest of the body hopefully and probably add some design on the one after that and maybe get to rigging it and then um showing how to animate it on the next one after that okay thank you for joining me with this tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it and please like and subscribe to tony's music thank you